A year ago today, September 8, 2019, Tylee Ryan was last seen alive. This photo was taken that day at Yellowstone National Park. It's just weeks before her 17th birthday. In her arms is her little brother, 7-year-old JJ. Behind her, her uncle, Alex Cox. Her mother, Lori Vallow, was also on the trip. Tylee was never seen again. Her brother JJ would also go missing that same month. Their remains were discovered on Chad Daybell's Salem, Idaho property in June. It's just hard to see that they're gone. The day I found out Tylee went missing was like a couple days after she texted me and she was like, hey, I love you. I was like, I love you too. And then like I never heard from her again. Tylee was born in 2002 when Lori was married to her third husband, Joseph Ryan. At the time, Lori had son Colby from a previous marriage. I miss you so much, Tylee. Tylee, you are such a strong, beautiful sister. But just two years later, Joseph and Lori divorced. Joseph later passed away in 2018 of an apparent heart attack. Then Lori met and married Charles Vallow in 2006, and Tylee would soon have a little brother when the couple adopted Joshua Jackson, called JJ. JJ loved Tylee, and Tylee loved JJ, and JJ was Tylee's entire world. For several years, the family of five lived together in Hawaii. She moved there a couple months before I did, and she moved a couple months after I did. <laughs> like, we would do everything together. We would go on hikes. We went to a school called Kanui Kapono. Eventually, the family moved to Arizona, and according to family and friends, Tylee seemed to want some independence as a teenager. Tylee and her mom had their differences. They were like oil and water, but she's a very bright girl, and, and she loved JJ, and for that, I can't fault, I'll never fault her for it. Uh, there's, there's no way. And uh, I know that she would do, I think, just about anything to protect him. According to Lori's best friend, Melanie Gibb, Lori believed that Tylee had become a zombie, a person overtaken by a dark spirit at the age of 12 or 13 when Tylee became difficult to deal with. You and Tylee were not particularly fond of each other, is that correct? I don't know how she felt about me, but I did not have a relationship with her. I would not say that. As Charles and Lori's marriage fell apart in early 2019, Tylee had an up-close glimpse into the turmoil, even accompanying her mom to the Gilbert, Arizona police station in January as Lori lodged a complaint against Charles. He's mad because I took the money out of our account. We have to join account, so he wants me to give him money. Here in this blurred body cam video, Tylee opens up about her future plans. Do you really want to be a police officer? Maybe. You never know. You got a few years before you be a police officer. <laughs> yeah, I might start community college classes and then eventually transfer over to a university. But she's working that. She's working. Right yeah, now. and I'm working. Just a few months later, Tylee would witness her uncle Alex Cox shoot her stepdad Charles in what Cox claimed as self-defense, a death still under investigation by police. Then, in September 2019, Tylee moved with her mother, brother, and uncle to Rexburg, Idaho, where her mother Lori told friends and family Tylee was taking classes at BYU-Idaho. My name's Tylee Ryan, Tylee Cox, and Tylee Vallow with the corresponding date of birth, September 24, 2002, has never applied to BYU-Idaho or has never been a student at BYU-Idaho. According to our records, but Tylee was never enrolled. In fact, none of her goals would ever come to fruition because, according to police, this photo a year ago, September 8th, was likely just hours before her death. And Chanley Painter joins us now. Chanley, this is so incredibly heartbreaking as we think about what this day is. Uh, where was she around the time all this was happening? What was, do we know what she was doing where she was, Tylee? You know, it, that's a great question because when you put that picture on the screen of a year ago today, it just breaks your heart. It, it, you want to save them then and there in that photo and to know that only hours later, according to prosecutors, she meets her death. And at the time, Vinny, she'd only been in Idaho a week, less than a week. 
her family moved there. Uh, she didn't even have time to make friends or go to school or even enroll in BYU Idaho, which is what her mother was telling people where she was at the time. Uh, it's just a very tragic situation. And this was a year ago today, but Alex Cox right there in the photo, two days before on September 6th, that was his first time, according to the affidavit, to Chad Daybell's property. And what we're going to learn, what we're going to do tomorrow on this story, is more details about what happened September 9th, 2019, and why he may have been on that property, Vinny. All right, Chanley Painter, thank you so much. Appreciate it.